Namaste all. So occasionally I get uh, doubts uh, from students as to why I teach uh, this way rather than that way. And um, so that um, I'm very thankful for people who raise such doubts because that then gives me a chance to explain because there many people might be having such doubts and it's just that only one or two might really raise it up or talk about it to others. So from the very beginning, um, my idea is to teach yoga. Now, then we have to look at what is my idea about yoga. So for me, yoga is basically the wisdom teachings contained in the various texts of yoga. So that is what I want to share and convey here. Then of course, there are the shapes. So the, the shapes in the original text the number of shapes given are very little. They are just the basic fundamental, some of the uh, postures which you do. The remaining everything has been added on down the centuries by different people who, who at that point of time thought that this will be useful. That's all. And they just added it to the repertoire of yoga practices. So sun salute was never a part of the yoga practice as given in the text. but it developed as it, a, an individual practice. Sun Salute uh, was an individual practice as done by some people. But at some point of time, yoga practitioners just pulled it in and made it part of their practice. And that's the way it should be. The Sun Salute was available. The yoga practice teachers were not stuck with, oh, I will only teach what's in the text. They looked at the Sun Salute and they thought that this is useful. And they added it on. Because they know that the, essentially the yoga teachings is the wisdom teachings. So it's not that you add Sun Salute onto it, then it ceases to become yoga. Not like that. They just added it and then Sun Salute is yoga because they are doing it in that kind of uh, context. Then there is no text um, refer to uh, do something on top of a chair or hang from a rope or, you know, uh, nothing. So that at another point of time, another genius teacher thought that this is going to be useful to make the posture more accessible. It gives more time to contemplate on the nuances of the poses. So then the props became part of yoga. So that is that particular genius's idea. And then now that is considered as a, all of those are yoga props. It became a mainstream yoga. Similarly, another genius thought that they don't have separate time for doing pranayama, bandha, and tradak and all those things. So integrated everything into uh, another set. Um, Ashtanga Vinyasa is something like that. So we are always as teachers uh, taking in what is useful for practice and and integrating it into the, the, the whatever we call as practice. So for me, the focus is not to make you all contortionist or acrobats or gymnasts. There will be that element. Many years earlier, when I was teaching at 27 years of age in Malaysia, and many of you are actually there even now who started with me there, I taught you differently. Okay, so core, every time I'm just taking them up to handstand, uh, same with, uh, you know, Julie and all of, all of that I've done before. But down the years, now in any of my class, the majority, at least 65 to 70 percent of the students are well over 40. Okay, I myself am not the 27 year old guy now, I'm 50 plus. So I need to think more about the way I practice. I got a lot of injuries, meaning this body got a lot of injuries, but still I can approach the postures by um, changing the sequence of it. So right now my emphasis is to share more biomechanical knowledge, more awareness of movement. And fundamentally, most of our movements, we are talking about hips and shoulders. Okay, Leg movement is basically hip movement. Arm movement is basically shoulder movement. These two are ball and socket joints. So rotation is a very key element. So for shoulders as well as hips. So without uh, adequate rotation, if you just focus on linear movement, then we are really pushing the deep structural um, uh, tissues um, and uh, we can create damage. So as the years go by, 
I find that it's not just me, many of my regular students are also facing different kinds of injury. So we need to, we can't simply go on a faith system that no, 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 just do the system as it is and it will all be okay. No, that's not the way I teach uh, the yoga, which I think is yoga. Okay, so I'm imbibing whatever knowledge is available to me in this moment and uh, practicing it on myself. So right now I can do handstand and I never just go and simply do handstand. I do a lot of rotator cuff shoulder movements, a lot of wrist preparation, a lot of, um, you know, like hip, shoulder and um, the abdomen movement because that helps to prevent my back injury from inflaming. So it is in that way that all shapes my current teaching so that you all will become more knowledgeable about the joints more preparations and that makes it more safe so we are not here to serve any system so we'll just do like what that system is about uh, whether we get injured or not we are not like that if that was the case right in the beginning um, i had the opportunity all three major systems of that time all three had asked me whether i would take over in Malaysia represent but the thing is I didn't want because then I'm stuck with teaching it only that way in 2005 I really considered um, into this um, thing purely from the business point of view but then uh, Sandhya strongly told me no stick with your uh, insightful intuitive teaching so that's what's being done now okay so um, I know so, uh, some of you might think that recently there's too much of joint work and you would just like to go into the flow of it, uh, Ashtanga at least, you know, just, just jump and flow. Uh, but I beg to differ. Um, so uh, straight jumping into a Chaturanga or just going into foot behind uh, for me is not the appropriate way I feel I can share that teaching. So there'll be a lot of hip rotations, there'll be a lot of, and I hope that somehow you get that this is kind of information based movements um, information in the formations of forms you connect to something uh, it is not just the externalized shapes so i'm just hoping that what i'm telling you gives you an idea in case you're wondering um why can't we just straight away you know just just jump and do the system i'm not here to serve or uphold any system for that system's sake I'm only here to share wisdom and serve you in the best way possible and I teach it from the point of view of what I think your body needs. I feel that your joints need more preparation before I challenge it with more load bearing or extreme flexions or extensions. It is on that basis I teach. It's not like I want to teach something and it's not I want, I, it's, it's basically I feel that your body needs, your mind might want something else, but I can teach only from the basis of what I feel is best for you. Okay, so that's all I just wanted to share with you. Namaste.